to welcome you on the product video and explanation on the retention system. I'd like to give you some information on it because there is so much going on in this tool. It took us a few years to develop it up until now uh, that we want to explain the features on what exactly is, is everything you can do with it during repairs. So retention stands for lateral tension, pulling out, pushing in, lifting up, laying the tool down 180 to every side that you want meaning you have hinges here that you can connect and disconnect allowing the tool to lay the tool down on any side that you want look at it from the side so on those ball feet that you can glue first you can add them and place them on any place on the car that you want and then use the tension tool on any side leave tension on it and work the open area so um, I said pushing and pulling indeed this one here it's also equipped with a quarter adapter that you can use it with a drill or a machine to go quickly in and out we'll go further in on the carriage that is doing the tensioning uh, further on when we take it off because this system we call it the system um, has the possibility to use small and big extrusions. So this is the 60 centimeter one or around 23 inches uh, to have a smaller tool. So the ball feet can be turned, you can use them on smaller surfaces. But as you can see, it's a big dent tool for collision or for big PDR guys that are doing big repairs, quarter panels, doors, roofs, whatever you want to repair. So uh, how does it work? Um, first of all, you have to glue the feet to the surface and when the feet are glued, you can connect the feet. How do you connect them? Really easy. The ball feet are disconnectable just by turning. Let me tighten the inches first. You can just disconnect them by turning away or turning loose those ball feet and then disconnect them. So as you can see, you can just add the ball feet into the tabs, the bigger tabs that you glue on the surface, then connect them, then start twisting and turning, and then just connect the tool to it. Best is to use these two, glue them on the surface first, and then connect the tool later. Uh, how can you move the legs? Really easy. The leg without the tensioner in there is, can be fixed on any part or any size that you want. You can easy, easily disconnect it. The extrusions come with an end cap, as you can see here, and you can connect also and disconnect the tension tool with an Allen key. Let loosen it up a little bit, and then you can just slide out the extrusion and use the bigger ones if you want. Slide in the bigger ones and have a 120 centimeter one to do bigger surfaces, bed sides. And we got some great news because. All of this is in the first tool system set that we are selling from today on. But we've got some surprises for the future. We'll have to see how it works and how you guys will work with it on bigger bed sides, bigger vans, because we'll have bigger extrusions available. We already have them, but we want to see how the tool performs and how you guys like it before we start selling those. But it's possible pretty soon. Let me show you. So I can't even get them on the video, but this is a double size. This is 240 centimeters or two and a half meters. So meaning if you want to repair a big bedside and you want to put overall tension on the bedside on a van, a big Mercedes van or a Dodge van or whatever, you want to stretch up the panel with lateral tension. You can just connect these extrusions and just use the lateral tension tool. So if you can see how adaptive this tool set is it is really a big dent repair tool if you are a collision technician or a PDR technician no matter who you are you can use this tension system this retention system to bring the original tension back into the metal of whatever car or big van or bedside you are repairing so a bit more on the legs as you can see there are uh, aluminium or aluminum machined but there is a lot going on in this carriage you can see the springs in here as well so the springs are 
compressing first while you are tensioning. As you can see on the end, the spring tensions and that spring on the metal keeps a lateral tension, spring tension on there. So if you are hitting with a hammer or whatever you are doing to manipulate pushing or glue pulling at the same time, that spring is allowing the metal to go further and further out and keeps a constant tension on the metal in lateral tension, not only in glue pulling. And it works both ways. So as you can see, it is if you want to push it or pull it, in both ways you have that spring tension going on in this system. Connecting the feet is real easy. Just put the tool in there, drop, a, drop the tool on there. And then just tighten it. This here we chose for eyeballs. Why is that? Well, let me show you. No matter what uh, screwdriver you have at hand, you can easily tighten or loosen these with the screwdriver or whatever tool you have to tighten these at the angle that you are working. Or release them quickly. You don't need another key. You can just easily tighten these hand or, but let me tell you, you don't need to squeeze them hard. Because because of the tension on it, you can hand tighten those and they will stay wherever you want it to be. Hand tight, you can under tension, lay it completely down in every direction that you want. So connecting is real easy too. So if you want another extrusion here, you just connect the extrusion, you slide it in here, slide it through, keep it equal with the tool here. Put the other one in here and then use your Allen key to just connect it. Slide it through the cage here, up here. Use your Allen key, tighten the tool. And of course use a, don't over pull, just tighten it easy. And you have a tool Same here with this one, with the other feet. You just lay it down here, open up, slide it on, and you can connect the feet to the tool and do whatever pulling and lifting you want to do. So connect the other foot. It's really easy to do when it's on the car, but also on a bench like this one, as you can see. I'm gonna put it a little bit under tension here. So, but that ain't all. You got the tool now. If you loosen up the hinges, you can lay it down in any direction that you want, glued. But let's say you are pulling and the, the dent ain't instantly moving the way you want it to move. Well, we have our lock-on attachment, our pull-up lifter with a constant tension spring in there as well to connect to any Kiko adapter that's out there. You can connect those for small tabs, bigger tabs, and then again, lift up while you have everything under tension. If you want to push or pull, at the same time you can lift up. So a lot of power is going on while using this tool. But that ain't all yet. You can use these feet separately as well. So if you disconnect the feet, we have these... Uh, we have these straps that come with the set as well. So, as you can see, these are strong, strong traps. You can easily connect a strap to the foot. And then if you glue it to the panel or both feet to a big panel, you have straps to hook up and even with a chain start pulling. We tested these tabs in pulling force on this on a, a chain over a thousand pounds and nothing happens to them. Even the tool itself up to a thousand pounds in any direction that the tool was laid, we tested it and nothing happened up to a thousand pounds and more. So if you talk about lateral tension, this ain't lateral tension only. It's a combination of lateral tension, pulling, pushing and lifting all at the same time and you can lay down the tool in any direction that you want, helping you to pull, to push the way you want to repair. So we'll want to see how the tool is doing, of course. 
it's been it's gonna be a pre-sale now from September and the last week of September beginning of October we will be shipping let me also give you some extra info on the ball feet so um, the ball feet are really important to lateral tension and uh, let me explain you why in our opinion anyway as you know there are a lot of opinions on lateral tension and the strengths and whatever kind of tabs and stuff you need to use why do we think these ball feet are so important while you are using lateral tension if you're using it today in your repairs because you should it's a uh, lateral tension is out there for already 50 60 years in uh, collision repair all guys are doing with change and, and pulling with change is lateral tension if something is hit in the back or the front of a car a lot of repairs that collision guys are doing is lateral tension what is new is is using uh, GPR on it glue pulling or GPR repair in lateral tension that has been evolving pretty fast but as you know if you use it and you use fixed tabs and you push on their tabs you've heard online on lateral tension that a lot of guys complain on diving of the tabs so making dents where the tabs are glued so how can you prevent that you can always cause damage of course no matter the size of the tab if you over pull at, at lateral tension it's like over pulling glue pulling the harder you pull the more movement you create and lateral tension ain't different but if you use the right amount of tension that you need on the repair that you want to repair or the the metal that you want to bring back to its original shape if these tabs are glued and both of them are glued and going with the dent if it's a bedside a van a quarter panel whatever you want to repair these tabs are under tension you start pulling and the metal wants to move the metal wants to move back to its original state high up what happens is as you can see those ball feet allow the tab when it's glued into the or on the side of the panel the panel will want to move up but what happens if you push on something that is fixed it's going to start squeezing here on the metal but if you have ball feet you start pushing and these feet while you're pushing and the metal moves allow the metal or allow the feet and the lateral tension tool to go with the metal so no matter how hard you are pulling or pushing up here no matter how hard you are pulling with the lifter these feet under lateral tension the moment the metal starts to move are going to move with the metal and going to allow the metal without bending it here come back to its original pace without damaging it so it's going to move with the metal that's why in our opinion there are a lot of opinions out there of course these ball feet are really important to allow that metal to flow so if you're not convinced just try you'll see if the tool goes well we can assure you this ain't the last thing that's happening on this retention system because these feet are disconnectable so easy because a lot of you will be imagining already these feet will come in different kinds of feet edge feet feet for quarter panels feet for this feet for that we are making extra feet that will come and will be sold separately with the system if the system is ready to ship we will be selling uh, extrusions separately feet separately lifters separately because we got already got some questions from some guys out there asking us for a longer extrusion and two lifters or three lifters well you can connect whatever lifter you want and you can see the lifter hangs on there nothing happens to it but it just clicks on there there is a click system here and you can just click it on and still move it from left to right because of the adapter here sliding in the extrusion with the extra gap created for that lifter so it took some time before we got this tool ready to come to market but we were amazed and you can see it's a strong tool if you look i don't have small hands but it's a strong tool but it needs to be strong some guys say why does it need so need to be so strong it's a heavy tool for what it is it ain't so heavy because it's all aluminum but i can assure you if you start using this tool under angles 
so much is going on that previous extrusions weren't holding up. So we had to improve and we came up at, at the end with a grab-on extrusion that is really strong, tested up into over a thousand pounds per extrusion, allowing this tool to be really strong and to do exactly what it's made for, to stretch up metal again and to stretch it to lateral and retention it up, down in the directions that you need to bring the metal back to original. So if you have any more questions on this tool, whatever question you have, just shoot. We're going to try to answer them as good as we can. There are going to be more videos out there pretty soon on how the soon the tool works. Because Barry McAtarshney and me, we were uh, designing the tool and the ideas behind the tool. And then Jerry Leopold, the engineer, has uh, poured a sauce over it to make it in a nice production tool to be ready for you guys. So um, keep your eyes out. You can be buying the tool in pre-order now on our website gvftools.com or soon with our partners like Kiko will have the tool online as well. By the way, it took us quite some time to bring it out because it's a patented tool. So um, the tool, the way it moves, everything on it, is patented in the UK now and a worldwide PCT, meaning it's going to be valid in the US, Europe and a lot of other, other countries. We thought it was worth it to do a new idea, combine technology in this new tool and family.